Hello out there, uh, YouTube viewers and especially my subscribers. Uh, today I'm going to show you the Windows Mobile 6.5 on the Pocket PC 6700, also known as the Apache. Now, right now I do not have service on this device, but I might be able to access the internet over Wi Fi. And uh, right now, not only am I going to show you the enhanced productivity of the new software, but I'm also going to show you how to get it. Now there's two ways of doing this. First, you can scour the internet like I did and try and find a free download of it, or you can just personal message me and leave a link to your email in the personal message and I will personally email you the files necessary to do it. And then all you need to do is download the attachment and open it and you're good to go. Now the first main thing I noticed when I got this uh, ROM is the home screen is a lot different. You get your time, but then also instead of having to click start to access everything, you have a lot of things on the main screen. This is good. You can scroll through it using what appears to be touch flow, even though I know it's not because this device isn't capable of that. Or you can actually hold your finger over it, over it and it'll move you up and down. Now when you click on something, it actually opens. That's nice. With Windows Mobile, a lot of times, things don't open. With this, it does. You can click on your pictures and go through all that, but I don't want to get a bunch of applications running. Now, the Start menu is also changed. You can either hit the regular Start button, or you can click the Start button up there. Either way works, as always. And the Start menu is changed. You can scroll through it now, using your fingers. None of that stylus crap. And instead of having the list to select programs, it automatically brings up all your options, including settings right here in this nice little menu. Now when you install a new program, the new program will either end up in this start menu, or it will end up under one of these subfolders here. Camera is always going to be the same. However, with this ROM, the camera button is not supported, I don't believe. You hold it down, nothing happens. The camera doesn't load. That's one downside I noticed. But you can just click start and then select the camera. Oops, I clicked the wrong thing. Sorry, I'm working through the uh, screen of my camera here to click on stuff. There we go, I clicked on camera that time. Alright, so the camera looks the same, functions just the same. There's my finger on the screen. Here we go. Alright, now settings you know everything's the same it's just a different layout for everything contacts you can scroll through your contacts with your finger I don't have any contacts in here right now uh... the old-fashioned jog dial on the side everything works the only downside to the hardware again I noticed was the camera click the internet button internet explorer pops up but it's not the regular internet explorer that we're used to it's a finger friendly application and also the menus are different on here you can scroll through them if you have to scroll on here you don't have to scroll but everything is finger friendly and it's a really really nice layout especially for the pocket PC 6700 because this is a really old model of a phone alright so you can get through all the menus, navigation is really easy, uh, games are the same, I think, if it even comes with any preloaded. Um, let's see here, games, no, it doesn't come with anything preloaded on here for, as for the games, but it's a really nice uh, little ROM here. The only thing is, is this will only work for the Sprint PPC 6700 because you have to reinstall your uh, service pack on startup it doesn't automatically open that and that's stored in your ROM now with one of my previous uh, ROMs I had an unlock extended ROM function where I could access my extended ROM through the file explorer I don't think that you can do that with this ROM but let me check here really quick oh, I got too many programs running at once Okay, there's my pictures. Okay. There we go. Alright. 
no, you can't access it. But that is also included in the things that I will send to you, and also included will be a video of me showing you step by step how to redo absolutely everything. This here video is just mainly to show you the different productivity. I'm going to do a video here in just a minute about how to do it, but I can't let this video get too long. All in all, it's a great ROM. It works just the same as anything else, you know. This device is pretty fast. It's got a good processor in it. Scroll through the main menus just fine. Everything's pretty seamless and it works together great. Okay, now, the first step, sorry, my battery's really low, so it might die on this phone before I even get a chance to show you. The first step to updating your software is to put the device into bootloader mode. The way you do that is you hold the top power button, and then you hold the side voice recording button, and you click the reset button, which is this tiny little hole down here next to your, uh, next to your, uh, charging and USB port. So I'm going to do that real quick. and you're gonna get something like it should say serial on there it's kinda hard to see and then V1.00 or V1.05 um, I don't believe it matters which way you do it and now you're going to take it and connect it to your computer via USB and it will now say USB on the screen and what you will do is hopefully if you have this you will email me and I will send you this file right here build OS RUU and you click on the only one that has a real picture and it says APAC upgrade UT no ID double click on that click next click upgrade and then it says checking information on your device please wait please don't disconnect your device from your PC or the power supply until the update is completed so it's just going to update and go through everything it needs to go through again. And then it says almost done. Your device software update is almost complete. To finish, please complete the following important steps. Take your device out of the cradle so that it is no longer connected. So go ahead and do that. Take it out of the cradle or disconnect it from the tether. And then don't be alarmed if the screen looks strange it's still gonna say it's a little serial thing and then perform a hard reset by see you hold both buttons both the soft keys and then you click the reset button again so I gotta set the camera down for just a second to do that and you hold down both these buttons and I'm using my pen but you guys can use your stylus if you have it and it's gonna shut off and turn back on and then it says you may continue to use your device as usual with the increased benefits of the updated software. Click finish to exit this program. Click finish and you're done. That's it. You just X out of this little folder that I've sent you. There's no viruses in this folder. I don't know how to do any programming or anything like that. But you can go ahead and virus scan the folder when you get it. It's going to boot up. Maybe. As long as my battery doesn't die first. I'm going to go ahead and connect mine back to the power and what may happen is you won't have any service if this happens you're gonna have to reinstall your sprint service pack okay that's difficult to do but actually I have service so maybe it does work if it works great if it doesn't the files will be included all you do is copy them to your storage card and then go and click auto run .exe in there and I'll show you how to do that in just a second so hold on okay now if you have no service on your device you're gonna take your mini storage card and insert it into the top of your device like you normally would I have a two gig card but it doesn't really matter open it up this is after you've gone on to your computer and uh, you should have a storage card type thing or you can just connect your device up and then drag and drop those files onto your storage card one by means of one way or the other and I am in Dang it.
I'm going into new folder. No, that says default icons. Um, let's see. Unlock phone. That's the folder I'll send you. And you go down to where it says autorun.exe. It's an executable file. What it does is it just runs every single one of these. Click OK. And it's going to install your Sprint service pack again. That's all it does. Nothing else. It just does everything it has to do. It runs through. Just leave it completely alone. Your device will restart by itself when it's finished. And then you're ready to use it. Alright? I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you guys out a lot. Thanks for watching. Rate and comment.